Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times. So, what is, the uh, what is the overall energy is about that connection that feels still broken, that feels like not going anywhere. Someone may have felt uh, ghosted or left out in the cold or rejected. Uh, there's this, this connection uh, that happened in the past that's still in the mind. Let's see more details. Let's start with uh, first what may have happened in the past. What were the challenges? Okay, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's see one more. Seven of Swords in the reverse. A person that was not honest may have been dishonest to you or may have lied or cheated, unfortunately. And, didn't, and that was not consistent, didn't provide the stability that you wanted. And there may have been a period of time where there was a comeback from this person, but things didn't work out as well, even this second or third time, because of the lack of stability, the lack of being consistent. Now let's see more details about your current energies. Meanwhile, you are waiting for them, you are ready to start something completely new. You are waiting to find a better new partner, but you still want to manifest somehow the past connection. Let's see what may be affecting you in your subconscious that you are not aware of. The fact that they are being very stubborn, that they are not changing their mind and they are being very mature here about their decision. Not wanting to talk, not doing anything, no communication. Maybe for some of you there was no closure as well. So you see that connection being immature. Now let's see more details about uh, how do you view it, how do you view the situation. You don't want to end it, you think it is over completely, but you don't want to end, you don't want to end that connection. Let's see more details. Now you hope for a message from them, it may be a message of feelings or an apology from this person that is very mature in love. Also I see you being uh, quite hesitant about what to do with your love life. One part of you wants to move forward to a better new future, maybe finding a better new partner. But still you keep thinking about the past, still you are stuck in the past. Now let's see about uh, what is their energy. They feel very confused about the past, they still think about you and the connection, but haven't come to a decision yet. Now let's see more details about that. They think the connection is not stable and not going anywhere but still they want to somehow open up, but they see you being guarded. So they have a desire to kind of open up, there's not a strong energy of that, but still they see you being very guarded or not trusting them or not wanting another chance with them. Let's see, uh, will they take any possible actions for the second week of March? They want to make things right, I don't know if they will decide to do something about that. Let's see. They want to reconcile or to bring balance to that relationship. Yes, here it is. They feel very indecisive, very, very indecisive. Uh, for now, I don't think they will talk. Even if they talked, uh, not much clarity would come from that conversation. I don't see communication coming for the second week of March, but they have the desire to make things right. Now I want to view more details about their feelings. 
how do they view you, what are their intentions, and the energies of the connection. If you want to watch the extended of this video with all those topics, you can find the extended in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.